hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have 2 to the power of b plus 4 to the power of b plus 8 to the power of b is equals to 39 and we solve this problem for all the values of b so here uh, we just solve this problem for the real values of b so it means that we just find the real roots of this equation so the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to rewrite this equation as this is 2 to the power of b plus here uh, we write this 4 into the form of prime factors and its prime factors are 2 square and its whole power is b plus the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and its whole power b is equals to 39 and here we use the nice exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of n to the power of m equals a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this rule of exponents we need to just interchange these two exponents and these two exponents as well so after interchanging these two exponents this will be written as uh, 2 to the power of b plus here it will becomes 2 to the power of b and its whole square this will becomes 2 to the power of b and its whole cubed equals to 39 you see here the base of all of these uh, terms is 2 to the power of b so that now we just uh, take here x is equals to 2 to the power of b so when we choose x equals 2 to the power of b our above equation is written as this will becomes here x plus this will becomes x square plus this is x cubed is equals to 39 so you see here after taking x equals 2 to the power b our exponential equation will becomes here a cubic form with variable x so now here we need to uh, solve this cubic polynomial uh, by making the factors of this equation so here we will easily make the factors of this equation i hope so you like this method uh, and now here in the next step we have this is x plus x square plus x cubed is equals to this is over 39 and uh, we write this 39 as 27 plus 9 plus 3 so we break this 39 as in this form and here further we make the pair of uh, 3 with x 9 with x square and 27 with x cubed and it will be written as x minus 3 times plus this is x square minus 9 plus x cubed minus 27 and this whole equation is equals to 0 because these three values are positive when we move it into the left hand side these all are becomes negative and further in the next step here we need uh, uh two nice formulas but first here we rewrite this equation as this is x plus three times of uh, this is x square minus we write this nine as three square plus this is x cubed minus 27 and we write 27 as three cubed and this whole equation is equals to zero and in the next step we need to use here the nice uh, uh algebraic formula so here you know about that if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b uh, so we apply this formula on this term and we apply the cubic formula on here you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we need to use these two formulas to the above equation and after applying this our above equation is written as uh, first you have uh, x plus 3 in uh, and plus when we apply this formula here it will becomes x minus 3 into x plus 3 so here we have little mistake this is our x minus 3 okay this is the negative sign this is x minus 3 uh, and we have x minus 3 times of x plus 3 and when we apply here this formula on here it will becomes x minus 3 times of x square plus x into 3 plus 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 further in the next step you see here each of these terms involve x minus 3 so that we will take common x minus 3 from here and we get the remaining values r from here we get 1 plus after taking common x minus 3 
from here we get x plus 3 and when we take common x minus 3 from here we get x square plus 3 x plus 3 square becomes 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 and further in the next step we have this is x minus 3 times of here we have this is 1 plus 3 plus 9 becomes 13 plus this is x plus 3x becomes 4x and plus this is our x square and this whole equation is equals to 0. And further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write this is x square plus 34x plus 13 is equals to 0. And here we need to move this minus 3 to the right hand side and it will become x is equals to 3. So this is the first root of the given equation and from here we need to find other roots. Uh, so here first we check that is this quadratic equation has a real roots or complex by applying the discriminant formula. So for this we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b equals to 34 and c is equals to 13 and we state the discriminant formula as uh, so this is disc is equals to b square minus 4 times of a c this is the discriminant formula and you know about that if uh, the value of this discriminant is less than 0 then we say that the roots of this equation are complex and if the value of this is greater than or equals to 0 then we say that uh, the roots of this equation are real okay here c means that complex roots and r means that real roots and now we check the behavior of above equation by substituting the values of a b and c in this formula so uh, this will becomes here discriminant equals to b but here we have little mistake this is x plus 3 becomes here 4x this is not 34 this is only 4x okay so the value of b is 4 only and when we put it here it will becomes 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 13 and we have 4 square becomes 16 minus 4 times of 32 becomes here 52 and when we subtract uh, uh, 16 minus 52 it will becomes here minus 39 and you clearly see here our discriminant is less than zero this means that uh, this quadratic equation has uh, no real roots so if this equation has no real roots so that uh, we uh, rejected uh, this case and we can just proceed here only one case and this that is x is equals to 3 because we have only one real root and that is x is equals to 3 so that we copy down uh, x is equals to 3 here and we back substitute the value of x and we know about that in the start of the problem we will take care of our x is equals to 2 to the power of b so we put this value here and it will becomes 2 to the power of b is equals to 3 and here we easily get the value of b so for the values of b we need to take care the log on both of the sides and when we take log it will be written as log of 2 to the power of b is equals to log of 3. so here we use the nice property of log and we move this b into the front of this log and it will becomes b times of log 2 is equals to log of 3 and further in the next step we have uh, so we just write uh, this equation as uh, here we move this uh, log 2 to the right hand side and it will becomes here b is equals to log of 3 divided by log of 2 so this is the value of b and you see here this is the real value uh, and this is our final answer so here we write this answer into this form uh, log of 3 with base 2 okay so this is the final form of our answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos